Welcome back to the channel. Got a new pan to show you today. I bought a Trangier Accessories frying pan. So I'm going to do an unboxing, which is just a box, pull it out of a box. And you have a look at it. I bought it because over the last few years I've wanted a folding handle frying pan. I bought one, I did a review on it, I liked it, and I melted the handle off it because I uh, had too much to drink. But I haven't had one since. And I want one, so I looked and I found one that Trangier do. They do more than one actually, so I've picked this one. It's a 22 centimeters. So let's get it out and have a look at it. We'll be using it today as well. And unbox it, it's already trying to get out. And there it is. It's a Trangier accessories non-stick fry pan made in sweden by trangier it's 270 grams in weight and it's hard anodized with a non-stick so let me just pull it out and we'll have a look and there she is Got a stiff handle that's not going anywhere it's stiff you can see how the handle is made it's folded over and then spot welded under there that's what that spot weld is so it's, it's welded but look it's not going anywhere that's a solid handle it's non-stick it's big it's, I like it it's got a polished um, machine bottom to it with a high anodizing and I'm going to run it on the Trangier triangle today so the first thing I'm going to do is do a brew when doing a brew if you put water in a shallow pan it will boil quicker than having it in a tall pot so I'm going to put my water in there measure it in the cup and then we'll get it going and see how quick that is I'm not going to time it but I know it's going to be quicker because it's shallower it just boils quicker another good tip is if you fry rice or not fry rice if you want to boil rice do it in a frying pan you'll, you'll cook it quicker than you will in a pot so let's set a triangle up This triangle bag, it's not even the bag for it, but I keep a um, windshield in there as well, a short one. It's not really any wind at the moment, so it's not going to be needed. So your triangle comes in three pieces. You've got a little hook piece on one end and a slot on the other. So you just slot it in and it'll stay in there. Slot that one in fold it around and it'll stick together like that so that's your triangle and you have a centre ring for the burner to sit on the alcohol stove just clip it together and there's your burner hopefully I can do it on this log this log's pretty fat it should be fine to cook on so how long this takes actually I will time it it's exactly 3 o'clock at the moment basically quarter 15 seconds too. I'll just put the heat um, windshield around it within the next tw last 20 seconds because we had a flutter and we just we don't need the wind blowing our fuel away do we? Our heat. So we've got a boil now it's been five minutes and it's just started boiling as you can see in the edge. It's not enough for a drink so I'm going to put that out save fuel as well. That was hot. Now I've got steam on the glasses. Got a rolling boil in five minutes. Let's see where the pan pours. Oh, pulled it over the back, over my foot. Look at that, pours really well as well. 
There's no more of that spillage on going back down its own side, down underneath it. Like I say, it doesn't fold when you tip it. Yeah, I'm impressed. I spilled a bit, but I didn't lose a lot, did I? So I'm going to start. I didn't bring a chopping board. I didn't bring anything. I've got a peeled potato. I brought some sausages, actually. I'll show you those. And they're um, a meat-free sausage. I've never seen these until the other day. Everyone's seen the Richmond sausages in the UK. This is a meat-free sausage. And they give you an idea of making a meal, a pasta meal with it. So I haven't cooked these in a frying pan. I did cook, as you can see, I've taken half out and I cooked those in the oven. They were fine. So what I'm gonna do this time, I'm gonna cook them in olive oil in that frying pan and I'm gonna cut up, I've got a sweet potato and a normal potato. So I'm gonna cut them into small pieces and throw it in and cook it all up together. Meat-free Richmond sausages, see what that's like. So let's prep it. So I've got the Swiss champ as usual. It's always in these trousers, keep this with me. I haven't got a peeler, so I'm gonna to have to use the champ to peel these. And I brought a plate, so I've got a chopping board. I can use the plate, can't I? Might not use all of all of these, as in like both of them whole, much as a half. There's enough food there. Got some bread as well. I'm flicking it this way because there's nothing over there, my stuff's down there. Potato's starting to grow. He's got his eyes out, he's looking at us. Because he's clean, I'm not even going to bother peeling it. I'm just going to cut the eyes off and have a look around it. It's clean, I'm just going to cut that up. Cut these up pretty small, they cook quicker. See how good the non stick is on the pan as well. Because I haven't got my usual day sack, I'm using just a rucksack. I haven't got all my stuff in it. I do hope I brought the oil. These are like chips. I wonder if I should leave them like that. Chips. French fries. Yeah, I might leave them like this. Might take a while to cook, but I'll do the same with the other one, with the sweet potato. I don't have any ideas when I come out, I just come out and have a go. I don't have a plan, really. I, have, I know what I'm gonna bring and obviously what I'm gonna to attempt to do, but I don't really know exactly what I'm gonna do. Wind's gusting up. So I've cut all my um, potatoes into my little French fries. So, let's get some oil in there, get the cooker back up on the log and get it hot, bang them in, get the sausages in as well. What can go wrong? Quite a lot, but we'll see how it goes, eh? Try and level this out a bit. That's 
probably about right. It's getting hot, I can tell you that. It's not right, is it? I need a windshield. It's getting blustery. I imagine this handle's going to get hot at some point as well. If I let the flames blow around it. I never cook chips outside um, like this. I've never done it. Never even thought to do it. So it's the first for me in my new pan. The first thing I've cooked. I haven't cooked it yet. Might go wrong, isn't it? Just let the wind stops blustering, and then um, I won't have to worry about windshield. I think I'm going to put. I'm going to put sausages in. Get these meat free sausages out. See how this goes. I mean, I'm an experimenter. I film my stuff, and I wouldn't do this and then see if it works and then film it again for YouTube. I just film it as it goes. If it goes wrong, it goes wrong. I'm not a, um, I'm not anal about my channel and getting things right. It's all about having a go, and I want people to get out and have a go. If you're not confident, go out and do it. That's how you get confidence. You grow it. I mean, this is looking like it would look if I did it at home, and I've never done chips. Handle's not hot. I can see the flame though licking up here, but the handle's not hot. Try and get these on the base too, possibly. Very nice bottle of HP. How's the Parliament sauce? I've got some bread. Got four rashers of bread. We have four slices in there. And that flame's blowing. Can hear it. 
Trying to turn some chips. Get everything browned up really. Yeah, it's going well. I love the little pan, I tell you, it's amazing. 22 centimeters across the top, it's about 21 and a, perhaps just over or under across the bottom. It's got a sort of like dish side, but yeah, it's brilliant. I've moved the sausages over here, there's less fat over there because it's running this way so this is deep fat frying and these are shallow fat in a way which are brown and better so I've got a, a shallow pan and a, and a deep pan at the moment it's just naturally happened, I didn't plan it I love the little handle, it feels so solid and secure just the keep a hand on it. You can hold it up this end without having to get too close to the heat. The handle's got the holes drilled in it so it, it cools quicker this end but here it's warm so you can just hold it and it's lovely. Let's turn these sausages. Yeah they're browning now, lovely. Ain't that lovely? Sausage and chips. All it needs now is a bit of baked beans. I didn't bring any but it could do with some couldn't it? Lovely. Yeah, we're done. Even the chips are cooked. I'm happy with that. Obviously I've got a knife. So let's get one of them out, put it on a plate. See how um, it is inside for you. There you go, just like a sausage. Got a service now. Lucky I've got tongs. That's fine. Gonna make it easy. This is olive oil, it's not bad for you. some crispies here as well. The pan's looking clean. Lovely. Over there on the log. Try and present this a little bit better. I'm not really about the presentation to be honest. Bread out. Get a bit of sauce on there. Bit brown. I'm going to be eating it with tongs because I haven't got a fork. So I can 
and tell you what it's like. first bite. Mm. I love that pan. Sausages taste like sausages, they're amazing. I bought the sausages in Tesco. in the fresh food fridge, not the frozen. If I didn't know it was meat free, I wouldn't know. It don't taste like it, it tastes like sausages. Look like sausages. I should say meat. chips are lovely. Well, I've finished. I'm going to give you a conclusion of my findings of the pan. I think it's brilliant. I've wiped the folding pan for a while. I've wiped the soot off it and that's what's left on there and this is just a wipe with a tissue. Wiped it out with a tissue. It's lovely. It cooked up really well. I think you can just it's just like cooking at home but out i think it's brilliant 270 grams 22 centimeters across just under four centimeters deep the handle is 13 centimeters i think or 12 and a half so i'd say there's only one thing i'd call a negative but you've got to be careful and aware of when the handle folds back in it can be pushed right down to touch the pan And if you do that and constantly bash it, you're going to break your non-stick. So either put something under it, or be aware that you need you might need something in there. Like a Trangia chopping board could fit in here, and that would be um, perfect for this to rest down. So that's the only thing. Other than that, it's a solid handle. And the thing is, it will loosen over time with you opening it and closing it. But if you can see how it works, you can just press that down with pliers or tap it down or push it down to make it tighter if it comes loose. Its construction is really nice, it feels nice, it's not heavy, it's lovely. I recommend it. So thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one. See you later.